When I'm working in Lightroom Classic, my pictures aren't actually on my laptop I'm working on, but on an external hard drive. I'm about to leave for a trip and I have a few pictures I have to work on, but I don't want to transfer those from the external hard drive to the laptop and when I get back home, transfer them back. So I'm going to create some smart previews. Today on the Lightroom Whisperer, we're going to talk about smart previews, exactly what they are and how they can help you. Let's get right to it. Before we get started though, did you know that in real life you and I could actually work together to improve your photography? Whether that be remotely from the comfort of your own living room, joining me around the world at any of the amazing destinations that I lead small group workshops, or even creating your own one-on-one -on -one like we're doing here. Light Source Journeys, helping illuminate your photographic journey. For more information, check out the description below. Now let's get to it. Now like I mentioned, my pictures are actually contained on an external hard drive. And if we look over here underneath my folders, you can see that I have both the Genius Drive and the G Unit Drive that contain all of my photos. I do have some random little photos like on my normal Mac SSD on the hard drive itself on the laptop, but all of my photos for their permanent home are on those two hard drives themselves. When I travel, I don't take them with me. I actually put them in a fire safe. So if anything was to happen in my apartment, that hopefully they're able to live. These drives though, when they're not connected, will not allow me to access the files themselves. So if I go right now and go from, let's take this picture here and go into develop mode. We've got full accessibility and we can see you know, different edits that have been made and so on. Now I'm gonna go back to our grid view here. If we head over to the side panel here too, you can see that quick develop options are also accessible right now. Now if I go down and I eject my hard drives, let's do that quickly here. Now we're going to come back and we're going to see that those two hard drives, Genius Drive and G-Unit, are both grayed out. If I go to try to get to any of these files, there's a question mark showing me that it can't actually find those folders. And if you look now too on the picture, there's a little exclamation point on every photo showing me, hey, this photo's missing. And when I go to the develop module, it shows me that this file can't be found. It's not able to do anything because the physical file is not with it. Lightroom's memory though, its catalog is remembering the file. It's keeping in mind also all of these different previews. And because of that, we can still see at least a little bit of them, but it's not allowing access to the file for development. And if we go to that tab over here, all of our quick development options are also grayed out right now. So to gain access to this again, I'm going to plug back in my hard drives. And once Lightroom has recognized these hard drives are plugged back in, you see that they're accessible again. It's showing me that the file folders don't have question marks. It's able to see them again. And if we go to these pictures again now, develop module will allow me to go in and make changes now. If I go back to my library module and I go to try to make those quick develops, they're also accessible again for me. That file's back in there. Now, I'm gonna go travel though, and I don't wanna take these physical ones with me. So I've actually gone and sectioned off the pictures that I wanna take with me to work on into a couple of different collections. So I'm gonna go and choose those collections. And then these pictures, I'm gonna make a smart preview of. That's going to allow me to have full access at least to the file for development purposes. And it's also going to allow me to not take that physical file with me. So I'm going to highlight the first one here. Go and highlight the last one here. And I'm going to go up under my library tab. We're going to come all the way down to the previews. And then I'm going to tell it to build smart previews. This is going to take a moment because it's actually looking into that metadata and making a more robust copy of it. Now that I've got those smart previews created, if we go into an individual file here and I come over and I look underneath the histogram, it's showing me that the original file plus a smart preview is here. Now, if I go back to my grid view and let's just go to this picture in the library itself. Now, if we go up to the picture up here that does not have a smart preview made, you'll see it's just the original photo there. If we come back down to our pictures that are in our collection, boom, boom, and I go and I eject my hard drives, same thing we did before that made it so we couldn't get into those files for our develop modules. Now 
I can still go, despite the fact those hard drives are ejected, and do full edits to these files. Now when I get back home, and I make that hard drive back up, it's going to fill in all of those gaps. The catalog has all of that information still there, but now I can discard those, and it's not taking up more memory in there. Now the picture itself is pretty darn close to the actual file that you have back on your hard drive at home. The biggest difference is the resolution. These are limited to the long side of the photo at 2550 pixels for the resolution. The biggest difference in this is like things like clarity or texture when you're adjusting those. They might need a little more refinement when you get back home because the pixel density kind of changed a little and it might look a little sharper or a little less sharp. So other than that though, you get a pretty good idea and a pretty good adjustment to what it was. So in this case now, I'm gonna go back to these files and I'm gonna show you exactly where they live. The Smart Preview itself, if we go to our catalog, which in this case, since I'm using a Mac, I can go under the Lightroom Classic tab and go to Catalog Settings. If you're using a PC, this will be under your Edit drop-down menu. And then I can go to General, and then I can come down and click Show. In my case, it's in my Lightroom folder, which lives in my Pictures folder. And in here, you can see that I've got Catalog, named the same as my catalog, Smart Previews. Now, let's head back in here, and I'm going to get rid of these. Let's say I've gotten back from my trip. I don't need these smart previews anymore, and it's already filled in all of that information in my catalog. Once I plugged my hard drives back in, I'm going to go ahead and highlight all those photos again. I'm going to go back to my library, go back down to my previews, and I'm going to discard that smart preview going to ask me do I want to discard smart previews for eight photos I'm going to say yes and you can see that my hard drives are not plugged in and because of those smart previews being removed all of these are now showing they're missing again now for me I actually wanted those so I'm going to go plug those hard drives back in and recreate those smart previews before my trip tomorrow but that gives you a little bit of an idea how they work one thing to know about these though is you can't export from a smart preview and you can't use other modules like the book module or the print module. You have to wait till you get back home and you remake that with the original file for that full accessibility. Thanks for watching and from the Lightroom Whisperer, keep on Lightrooming.